Hello. I uh, started making a little Barbie outfit earlier and my camera kept dying on me so I had to get some batteries. Um, what I'm making is this pattern right here. It's Berta7336 and I'm making this one. Where's my finger? I'm making this one right here. It's um, got a petticoat underneath it and the petticoat is made out of tulle. Then the top is uh, I'm making that out of satin. On the back side here, you will see, let me bring it in a little bit. Okay, on the back side here, you will see, where's it at? Right here. This, this outfit right here. This is the top, and then this is the petticoat with the made out of the tool. I have already started because like I said I made a video earlier and it didn't turn out well the video I mean my camera kept dying on me. So I'm gonna continue I'm gonna explain what I've done so far and then I'm gonna continue um, with what I'm doing. Okay. This is the little dress right here. And then it's got like a halter top type thing. Okay, um, these are the pattern pieces that I use. Okay, you need four pieces one, two, three, and four. first piece is um, the piece you're going to put on the fold of the fabric. And bird patterns are nice. I, I've never used one before. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay. This is a bird. Like I said, this is Berta. And this is what the pattern piece looks like. It's the first one that you'd be using. You put it on the fold and this is the side that you would be putting on the fold. Anytime you see a straight line like this, it's going to probably be the fold line. Then down at the bottom, it tells you to cut one piece. And then up here, it has a number one where the dot is. And um, so I'm going to explain that to you in just a minute. Okay. Here's the number two piece. This is the uh, side front piece. And you're going to cut two of these. Alright, now the reason for um, the numbers is I'm getting ready to show you. Here's your number one. And here's the number three. For number one piece that you did on the fold, you're going to put right here where it says number one. This is the number three side. This is the number one side. And then you're going to line it up like this, like that, and you're going to sew down here. Okay, so you've got two of these pieces, so you're going to do the other side. Okay, then, uh, because this piece right here, when you open it up, is going to be double of what you're looking at. Alright, so when you get through doing both of these pieces, then you um, do a little clip on the waist, and then you um, iron open the seam. Then, the next thing you do is, here's piece number three and piece number four. On piece number four, you see a two and you see a three. On piece number two, you see a two. Alright, so this two you're going to put up against right here where you see number two. Match up your dots. And then you and then you bring in the pieces down like this. And then you sew here, and then down here. Then you cut a little wedge at the waist here, and then you iron open the seam. Okay, then 
you have a number three. So then you go back to the front um, side. And so the number three that's right here, you're going to put against here. But now you're going to have two of the number three, two of the number uh, two. So for each piece, you don't do, you know, you do each piece. So you do it like this. You line it up with this line that's right here, like right here for the number three. You line it up like that. And then... Get even, and then you sew like this, like that, and then you cut a little notch right there, and then you oh, uh, um, iron open the seam. Okay, so you're going to do that on two pieces of fabric. Then what you do? Oh, I forgot to show you on um, piece was it? Piece number three? Yeah. Piece number three, right here, is your center back seam. You're going to be doing a um, basting stitch down here. Then you're going to a little notch, a little notch right here where this meets right there. And then you're going to sew these two pieces together, regular s stitch. Then what you do is you iron this open you iron this seam open. Then you take out your basting stitches and you can use velcro, snaps, whatever you want to use. I'm using snaps. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. And this is the front and this is the back. And the back right here, just like I showed you, um, but we you know where the velcro is going to go, or whatever you want to do, snap, whatever. There's your opening. And then right here, on the very bottom, is where you sewed your uh, regular stitch. Okay, so now um, I put a snap on. But before I put the snaps on, I wanted to um, do something with the edge. So I folded it over a little bit. And I basted, hand basted it. I'm going to take the stitches out when I'm done putting snaps on. But here, uh, here's your snaps right here. Velcro, whatever you want to do. All right, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to put the other snap on so I can show you um, how I did it. Got my needle and thread already. Thank. went to the doctor today and while I was waiting on him I happened to look down on my shirt and I had this needle and thread and um, you know pinned to my shirt shirt like this I looked down and I said oh my goodness <laughs> okay okay let me bring you down a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing Okay, this little piece right here, that's going to be going on the um, outside of the dress, which is going to be on the right side of the dress. Alright, so how I'm going to get this started. from the back, bring it to the front, and I'm spacing it probably about mm, a quarter of an inch, from one snap to the other. Okay, then you use the flat side, bring your needle up through one of the holes, you hold it in place with your hand because it does move around. Let me get it right here. I get my finger to hold on to it. Okay. 
All right, and then and then you just bring your needle from you know on the outside, and bring it up through the hole. Do that a couple times on each hole. That way you know it's good and secure. I went dumpster diving today after the doctor's appointment, so be looking for that video. I have it um, saving in my um, movie program. So as soon as I get it saved, it's, I'm going to be putting, be putting it on YouTube. I've got a lot of good stuff too, and it's a long video. But that's because i got so much stuff. I'm going to go back tomorrow. I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow, and that's right across the street from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go back tomorrow and check and see what else they might have. Okay, I got the snap on. And what I'm going to do is, that, that doesn't look right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fasten it off. And I usually like to bring the needle up under the snap and then bring it back through on the other side. And then I usually make, like, I usually tie it off, like, I bring the needle back underneath the snap, tie it off, because I want the knot to be hidden. Bring it again, and that's it. Alrighty. We're going to do the other side. I'd, I'd rather do um, snaps and Velcro any day, especially on this type of fabric. This is silky type fabric. Okay, now on the inside of the snap, I mean of the dress, you're going to see this snap that's on top. Okay, well I'm going to put one on underneath it, and you're going to. Oh, I get my finger on it. This side it has like a little um, bonnie's bump on is what I'm trying to think of. Okay, so you want to lay that up against the dress. Alrighty. And instead of bringing the thread from the front of the dress to the back, I that's um, fold that I made over. I usually just use part of that and bring my needle up that way. That way the knot's not hide showing on the back, on the front side of the dress. And then bring your snap down and then make sure, make sure that you have it lined up right with the other one. Pull it down. That right there. Okay, and same thing, but you're doing it on the back side. And make sure you don't let the thread show on the front side of the dress. So you're going to be picking up a piece of that fold and bringing it through the hole. And you're going to do it, you're going to do the hole twice. Each hole you're going to be threading twice, sewing twice. I do too. I haven't been to Target in I don't know how long. Um, 
I haven't been to a Target since we moved here to Florida, and it's been like three years almost since we've been here. So that's how long it's been for me, and a little bit longer than that since I've been in a Target. And then there's a really nice Dollar Tree where we're going to be. So um, it's a big one too. It's got the freezer section and all. So I will. Oh, I forgot to do my tile. Um. I will definitely be going there. I told my mother I have my list all ready to go. Okay. Got that done. Cut it off. Can you get my little threads here? scissors, they're not very good. Okay, there you go. I'm going to put some more snaps going down, but um, here's the two that I've already done, and then here's the other two on this side. Then you just snap it. still an opening so um, I might I might end up putting a small zipper in there I've ha I have some small zippers I might end up putting a small zipper in there I don't know what I'm going to do yet but I'm going to leave that alone for right now next thing I'm going to do is the hemming okay that's the oops I have to take the straight pin this pin out this is the inside of the dress. Okay, now, I'm just eyeballing this, but you want to do like maybe an eighth of an inch for the hemming. So, get your straight pins. I use the little ones when um, I do dog clothes, little straight pins. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to sew it. I might use some binding tape because that will make it look a little bit nicer. Oh, that's right. I'm going to be um, adding on tool to this. you have your seams open when you um, get to your seams. I did iron them, but sometimes they um, don't stay that way.
mouth skirts are a little hard to do when it comes to hemming. So I always have to take my time. I'll put in extra straight pins. And before I start the hemming, I'm going to iron to make a crease. Just in case. So that way, just in case if anything happens, I have the crease to go by. get to use my ruffer machine because um, part of the tool I have to make a ruffle. So you'll get to see that. The reason why you want to make sure that you have your seams open when you're doing your hem is because you want to make sure that your hem is going to lay flat. And I might do still do a binding, a seam binding on this. It wouldn't hurt anything. do extra embellishing when I make something. I'm going to be making me a pair of slippers out of the same kind of fabric. Fabric is the same. It is the same fabric, the same um, colors and all. Okay. Almost to the end. See the machine. This is the binding tape right here. I'm going to be putting some of this on. Got this piece off that got all tangled up. Oh, excuse me, let me put this all in. Missy, come here. Get 
Get in the house. Find yourself a spot to lie down. It's dark outside and she wants to bark. Okay. And that's going to work just fine. All right, I'm going to start here at the back seam where I'm doing the snaps. And first of all, let me take a pen out so I can get it started.
stuff right here.
over to the end. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over so I can overlap it on this side here. Sharpen my scissors. 